very much. I now call Neil Bibby to be followed by John Finney, speeches of four minutes. Thank you, President Officer. Uh, today is an important opportunity not only to recognise the importance of the Gaelic language uh, to Scotland, but also to identify how best we can expand the range of opportunities available for people to use and experience the Gaelic language and culture. Given the current economic climate, the challenge obviously is to identify ways in which this can be done creatively and effectively. As is stated in the National Gaelic Language Plan, Gaelic is an official language of Scotland and investment in Gaelic initiatives has the potential to produce educational, social and cultural benefits. The plan's headline aim of uh, attaining stability in the number of people speaking Gaelic is one which I joined previous speakers this afternoon in welcoming. This summer, um, I was fortunate enough to make my first visit to the Western Isles. Not only uh, was I struck by the beautiful scenery uh, when I was there, but also by the very important role that the Gaelic language has in these areas, not just in the past, but in the here and now as well as a living language. We must support those communities to protect that heritage and Gaelic as a living language. Uh, from one uh, beautiful part of the world, presiding officer, to another one, um, it would also be remiss of me not to mention that the Royal National Mod is coming to Paisley in 2013. Uh, the festival, famous for celebrating Gaelic linguistic and cultural heritage, provides opportunities for people of all ages to perform across a range of competitive disciplines, including Gaelic music and song, Highland dance, drama and literature. Having been uh, once before, I know that the Scotland's premier Gaelic Festival will not only be a very enjoyable event for local residents to attend, but will also act to raise awareness of the Gaelic language and culture in an area where the language is not readily spoken. And I'm certainly looking forward to going again when it comes to Paisley next year. Um, I spoke in the Chamber earlier this year about the importance of introducing uh, children to modern languages at an early age, and I think the same uh, applies here. If we are to see an increase in the number of Gaelic speakers, it is essential uh, that early years development should be considered as a priority. Um, the plan identifies a number of strategic priorities for the early years development of Gaelic, including strengthening links between use of Gaelic uh, at home and Gaelic preschool provision, and improving the quality and availability of voluntary-led Gaelic preschool activities. These areas have to be considered as priorities. I would also like to see further details and specific plans um, for how we achieved or how we achieve each of these priorities identified in the plan, as well as an outline of the resources required to make this a success. Um, although I was not a member of the Education and Culture Committee at the time, I think it is important to recognise the points raised in the committee report that was published in December last year. The committee welcomed the plan, but did express concern that the plan is so wide-ranging and broadly focused that it was difficult to identify and determine the most uh, important priorities. To avoid falling into the trap of becoming another strategy that sounds great on paper but fails to have any real impact on the ground, um, I hope this concern is taken into uh, account. It is essential that key priorities are established and specific plans are outlined for how these are to be achieved. I also hope that the Scottish Government will monitor closely the progress made in achieving the plan's aims. Finally, uh, President Officer, if the plan is to be successful in its overarching aim, it is clear collaborative working will be required. A number of bodies have an important role to play, particularly in the development of Gaelic language in the early years, and there is an opportunity here for public authorities in Scotland to deliver elements of this National Gaelic Language Plan through their own strategies. However, it is essential that the Scottish Government takes the lead and provides the necessary support and resources to allow the Gaelic language to continue to play an important role in a modern, multicultural and multilingual Scotland.